with CSAT, depending on the, the product, you know, and the way you're asking the CSAT questions or even the vehicle you use to ask or deliver the survey, your return rate is probably not where you want it to be really, right? Let's say 10 to 15 percent and you're calling it a win. Well, that's only a very small percentage. <laughs> you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's only a small percentage, right, of your actual transactions and your customer sentiment. That was always bothering me. I was like, oh, I'm only getting a, a piece of my customer's true experience. And then when we started pulling in the actual live true copy of what's happening in a case into support logic, we were able to start getting that full picture. So now I have 100% view of what's happening with my customer base. It had to be trained, right? So you come in with some basic assumptions. We think this equals negative. We think this behavior equals negative. Then what would we learn? And you'll get false signals, because just like any AI, you have to go in there and you have to feed it. And that's what we were going through and learning. Um, a, a, an interesting example, we were seeing some negative sentiment in a very specific group that I had in one of my, um, I'll call it my sub-products. And when we dug into it, what we found was that those team members were copying just basic generic text and putting it in there, right? That was something that I then fed into the model to look for, right? And I'm like, oh, that, we need to know that because we don't want that. We want it personalized. So again, it's an investment in feeding the AI and you'll get the right types of signals around it. But honestly, I think negative sentiment was the aha for me because now I'm not you know, in that reactive mode a couple weeks later. I'm in that proactive mode of engaging immediately to de-escalate. And just a general thought following up on that, um, what Support Logic does is it actually mines all of the unstructured data within all of the support interactions. And then it looks at both the case history and then the context. So it's not just looking at single point in time. And as Catherine said, we have a base model that rolls out, but then there's training involved and we tune, fine tune it and get to the right level of accuracy, right? And that's sometimes a moving target, um, but that's how we do it. And obviously happy to go into more detail on that as a follow up. What we do with that too is we are able to whisper, we call it whispering right into a case to help someone achieve better results. Um, thank you for the, the technical piece of it. I'm like, oh yeah, we feed it, we, you know, we train 